For today's video, we will answer an algebra challenge coming from one of our friends, Steve Hat. He is known for his algebra challenge. So let's answer one of his puzzle. So find the value of n given this equation, n squared minus 1 factorial all over n squared minus 1 equals 23 factorial. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now, suppose you pause this video. Now, let's see if you got the correct answer. All right. So, to answer this question, one thing to notice here is we have a common term of n squared minus 1. And one of the techniques that we use in this academy is when we have two common terms, what we're going to do is to replace this with a single variable. So, let's call this as x. So let x be equal to n squared minus 1. So all of this n squared minus 1 becomes x like this. So this becomes x factorial on the numerator and we have x on the denominator. And now let's focus on this equation. And here we will use one identity for factorial. Take note, when we have a factorial, it must be equal to a multiplied by a minus 1 factorial. So we can rewrite the numerator as follows. We have x multiplied by x minus 1 factorial. Now the question is why we do that? Because we cannot eliminate a factor of x on the numerator and a factor of x on the denominator. So the left-hand side is just x minus 1 factorial. Now, on the left side, we have x minus 1 factorial. On the right side, we have 23 factorial. So we can say if we disregard this factorial symbol, x minus 1 equals 23. And now, take note, we don't care to the value of x. but we care about is the value of n because we want the value of n. So let's replace this x by its value n squared minus 1. Now let's simplify and solve for the value of n. Negative 1 minus 1, this is just negative 2. Add 2 on both sides. 23 plus 2 is just 25. And square, get the square, and get the square. Now to solve for the value of n, now to solve for the value of n, now to solve for the value of n, let's get the square root on both sides. Take note, we have two possible values here. So a positive and negative square root of 25. And square root of 25 is just 5. So we have two possible values for n. We have positive or negative 5. But the question, is it okay that n is a negative number and the answer is okay because n squared we have also n squared on the denominator and they are both equal to 25 and it doesn't matter if n is negative or positive therefore we have two possible solutions in this question we have n equals 5 or n equals negative 5 and that is the answer to this question and as always we are done